Hey guys, welcome to um, New Way IT again. <clears throat> and I'm posting this video to show you guys the different ways to connect um, through the Sys user um, as a Sys DBA. Um, a lot of students, um, they have a problem with this initially. Um, but there, um, there are a whole bunch of different ways that you can, you can connect actually um, with the Sys user. And I'm going to show you guys how. Um, this is just um, really basic stuff, but um, some people actually don't know this, and that's why I'm actually posting this video. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clear the screen, all right? And um, obviously, um, um, because this is because this is um, our uh, um, uh, just a, a dummy um, database um, uh, for students, um, we put the um, the sys password as Oracle, all right? So there is a number of ways to do it. So the, the regular way that everybody does this is you do what? SQL plus slash as sysdba, right? And as you can see, it says connected to, right? So to get out of the SQL, so you exit. There's another way you can do it is you can do it by this, right? SQL plus, right? And then you can explicitly put the username and the password. So sys slash oracle as sys DBA, right? That's another way to do it. A third way to do it was to just to do SQL plus sys as sys DBA. This is going to ask you for a password and you type in Oracle, right? You see it says connected. Select open mode from V dollar database. Database, right? So as you can see, you read write. A third way you can do is to do what SQL plus sys press enter then you put oracle space as space sys dba right as you can see you're connected if i do show user right it shows me that i'm sys now the fifth way to do it is to use our um our listener dot our listener oral file and our tns name to oral file right and we know um, from teaching that the listener that oral file and the TNS names that oral file is located in our what Oracle Homes um, slash DBS, right? And let's clear our screens again, right? <clears throat> All right, and let's go there and see whether or not we already have one, right? So we're gonna do CD dollar Oracle underscore Homes slash what DBS. Do LS. Oh, sorry, it's um sorry our. Listen to Oracle file and TNS names of Oracle file is actually located in our Oracle home slash network admin, right? So we do a cd space dot dot slash network network admin, right? And do ls, right? So as you can see, we have we already have listeners um, that were corrected and listen to Oracle file and TNS. So what we're going to do is let's delete everything and start from scratch, right? So we're going to do rm space listener star. And I'm going to do rm tns name star, right? Clear. So all we have a samples directory and a sh um, shrept, um, dot lst, right? All right. So now let's create our listener and our tns name from scratch, right? And the tool that we're going to use that um, to create both of these is the um, net ca. So let's clear our screens again. And then we're going to type net ca. All right, and now what we're going to do is the listener configuration. Actually, the first thing I would like to do is let's 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 shut down any listener that we have that we have um, open already that's running. So I'll do lsnrctl space stop. Right, this is the actual tool that we use to control and manage the listener. Right, so I'm stopping it right now. Okay, so it says no listener. We said TNS no listener means there's no listener. All right, so I'm going to Alt Tab. And go to it. So we're just gonna click about five clicks to create our listener. So one, you see. So all this is blank. So this tells you that there is no listener that that, that was created. Now that's there, right? So we have no listener on our configured uh, that's listening for connections to our database. Hit next again. So the default name for listener is listener. I hit next again, and the protocol is TCP, right? Not TCPS or IPC. So hit next again, and the default port is fifteen twenty one, right? You hit next again, and then would you like to configure another listener? Hit leave it at no. Hit next. Listener configuration complete. Just that easy, right? Now let's create. So our listener oral file is complete, and if we come here, we're gonna do ls. 
you can see that it says our uh, listen.org file now exists right okay all right because we came back here where we deleted it right there was nothing here before right but now it's there all right so now let us create our TNS names our file so we click on local net service name configuration I hit next right so I leave it on add there's nothing else if we had another one then you know some of these would be highlighted but it's not so we hit next and we're gonna call our our database name is is ORCL I believe but let's verify um, so what you can do is you can just cat to know the names of all your databases on your on your server you just cat the etc slash or tab file right and as you can see right here right this is our Oracle home this is the Oracle home that our database is, is installed from and this is the database this this right here is a database name says so ORCL okay so we're gonna call our database name ORCL so we're gonna hit next the TCP needs to be the same thing as a listener so TCP leave the default hit next so the host name as you can see our host name is what is what new way 16 right new way 16 that's what our host name is new way 16 so I put new way 16 right I leave the port number to be the same thing as what the listener is registered to right so so I hit next do I want to um, would I like to test a connection no hit next the net service name is not necessarily the database name that's the network service name right it's an alias for the database for security purposes right I can name this anything I want to call I want to name it right but by default it defaults to ORCL does that make sense so just for um for giggles I'm just gonna call this goat right and then I'm gonna hit next and so would you like to configure another net service name I'm gonna leave this at no and I hit next next and then finish right so now now that that's done now we have to we have to register the database with um, with the with this listener so what we're gonna do now um, the tool that we use to do that is net manager so we just type net MGR and press enter all right so I'm gonna blow this up uh, perhaps I should minimize this so I'm gonna minimize that and then I'm just gonna press the plus sign right here for local. So I press local. And then for listener, let me see if I can, all right. And then for listener, I'm just gonna hit the plus sign right here. So we have, this is the listener that we just created. So we click on listener right here. And then we're gonna click on the database services right here. Right, and then we're gonna add a database. And the name of our database Right, it's going to be called ORCL because that's the name of our database, ORCL. We're just going to make it ORCL. It's very important that this ORCL at the bottom for the SID is not capitalized because that you can run into some problems. So it needs to be ORCL here and ORCL there, right? Because that's the name of our database. So then, once we're done with that, we're going to hit File. We're going to hit Save Network Configuration. Then we're going to hit File, and then we're going to hit Exit. Right. So now, what we're going to do now is um, we're going to clear the screen again. So now we've created the listener. So we create a listener.org file. We've created our TNS names.org file. All right, and let's let's take a look at the, both of these files. So we're going to do let's let's cat both of these. So cat listener.org, and as you can see, the port is TCP. The host is New Age 16, which is correct, and the um, so the protocol is TCP. The host is New Age 16, and the port is 1521. And as you can see, the database name, this is what we just did in Net Manager. The global database name is ORCL, right? And the SID name is ORCL. That's what we did in Net Manager, right? Okay, so now let's cap the TNS names, the ORA file, right? And as you can see, the the protocol, the protocol is TCP, the host is, is New A16, and the port is 1521. As you can see, they're, they match exactly the same. This is very important. They have to match. They have to match, right? And as you can see down here for the TNS name, so this is the, well, this is the TNS names, right? The service name equals the, the database. Never mess with that because that's the actual real name for the database. Now, this is the network service name that we created. This can be anything, but, but by default, it can, it's normally the, the database name. But this can be anything you want it to be called, right? Does that make sense? Because this alias is pointing to the address of how to 
how to get to the database, what uh, what port to use, and so on and so forth, right? But this can be anything that you want it to be called. It's the network service name. It's nothing but the alias, right? Okay, so now that we have that covered, so now the next thing that we're going to do now is we're actually going to see if we can connect um, through GOAT um, to get to this database. So now we're going to clear the screen again. I'm going to press enter a few times, all right? And then the next thing that we're going to do now is let us see the status of our listener. So we do what? LSNRCTL status, right? And as you can see, the service has ORCL. It's listening to what? It has one instance, right? So that tells us that what? ORCL database is what? Is what? Um, is, the, is the one database that's what? That it's listening for at this time. Does that make sense? Right? And you see that? This is all that information that was in the um, in the listener or file, right? So it's already started and everything, so that's good. So now let's see if we can connect. So now to connect, you simply do what? SQL plus sys slash oracle at goat as sysdba so this is the fifth way to connect and as you can see you're connected so it's what select name from the dollar database right as you can see that's the database name or so these are the different ways to connect to your oracle database i hope that helps all right